Congratulations on taking the plunge and ordering your Tesla or if you have just taken delivery of your Tesla. You're now one step closer to experiencing the future of driving. But let's be real, driving a Tesla is not like driving any other vehicle out there. From the ordering process to the delivery experience to just how the car feels on the road, it's a whole new ball game. That's why I want to help you out with the 21 critical things you should do right after you order your Tesla and right after you get your hands on your Tesla. I've been driving my Model Y Performance for almost a year now and I've learned a lot about what makes this car tick. I've also learned a lot from my Model Y Long Range after having owned it for nearly two years now. I've seen it all from the highs to the lows and in this video I'm going to share all of that knowledge with you so that your transition into Tesla ownership is as seamless and as stress free as possible. So buckle up and let's get ready to learn everything you need to know about maximizing your Tesla experience. Delivery day of your Tesla is finally here and it's time to get behind the wheel of your dream car. But before you drive off, it's crucial to inspect your vehicle for any fit and finish issues. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement and overlook any imperfections, but pointing them out to Tesla on delivery day is essential. Although Tesla has improved its quality control significantly over time, small issues can still pop up here and there. Reporting them on delivery day lets Tesla know it's their responsibility to fix and not normal wear and tear from you down the line. I believe Tesla allows you to report issues within 72 hours or 100 miles, so it's best to find and report any inconsistencies or issues early on to ensure a prompt resolution. With the inspection comes a checklist. I've linked a detailed checklist for the Model Y and the Model 3, as well as the Model S and the Model X to help you with your delivery process. Trust me, this will save you a lot of time and hassle down the line. Remember, this is a significant investment and you want to make sure that everything is perfect before you hit the road. Don't let the excitement cloud your judgment and take the time to inspect your Tesla carefully. The next thing you want to do after taking delivery of your Tesla is to set up your phone key. Although Tesla provides you with two key cards, the phone key is definitely the way to go. It's quick, easy, and you won't have to worry about fumbling around with key cards or accidentally locking them in your car. Plus, with the phone key you'll have access to other cool features on the app, such as being able to check your car's status, climate control, and even remotely start your vehicle. But like with any technology, it's always good to have a backup plan. That's why I keep a key card in my wallet just in case my phone starts acting up or runs out of battery. But in my experience, the phone key has been extremely reliable and I have not had any issues in my years of ownership. So go ahead and set up your phone key on your Tesla app and enjoy the convenience and ease of access to your new Tesla. And don't forget to explore all of the other amazing features the app has to offer, such as being able to control the AC and the heater, view live sentry mode, and various other controls that makes your life easier. When it comes to protecting your Tesla from theft or vandalism, sentry mode is a crucial feature that you do not want to overlook. Sentry mode is an advanced anti-theft system that utilizes the built-in cameras of your Tesla to monitor any suspicious activities when your car is parked and locked. It's continuously recording from all angles of the car, giving you an excellent view of any incidents that may occur. To get started, all new Teslas come equipped with a 128GB thumb drive to record sentry mode events. Make sure that the USB drive that comes with your car is properly set up and ready to go for sentry mode. You can easily format the USB drive from the touchscreen. But some people believe that thumb drives fall short of the rapid write speeds that sentry mode and dash cam requires out of them for optimal performance. This is why a lot of Tesla owners opt to find the best SSD for sentry mode instead of going with a USB thumb drive that comes with a car. Apart from the writing speed, a portable SSD also has more durability than an average USB drive. SSDs are better for constant read writing like how sentry mode is continuously recording and read writing over old recordings. I've linked a few of the SSDs I recommend for sensory mode in the description below. Now this next one is something that a lot of people overlook until the last minute and they end up scrambling when their Tesla is finally delivered. And it's home charging. Sure, you can rely on the standard mobile connector from Tesla, but if you want faster charging speeds, you may need to invest in something a bit more powerful. The mobile connector from Tesla is perfect for those with shorter daily commutes or those who don't mind a slower charging rate. However, if you're looking to charge your Tesla quicker, there are a few options to consider. The first option is to install a 240V NEMA 1450 outlet. This will increase your charging rate of your Tesla to around 33 miles of range per hour charged. While the total cost of installation varies based on your location and the cost of hiring an electrician, it's a reasonable price if your breaker box is near where you're going to charge. The second option is one that I personally chose and is to install the official Tesla wall connector. This requires a 60 amp breaker to be installed in your home circuit box, but it's well worth the investment. The Tesla wall connector charges the Model Y at an impressive 44 miles of range per hour charge, making it the fastest and most convenient charging option at home. 
The Tesla wall connector currently costs $425 from Tesla, in addition to the cost of installation from an electrician. It's important to consider your charging needs and habits when deciding which option is right for you. While the standard mobile connector may be sufficient for some, those who frequently take longer trips or have longer daily commutes may benefit from a faster charging option. Ultimately, investing in a more powerful charging option will enhance your overall Tesla driving experience and make charging a breeze. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more great content like this in the future. Also, take that notification bell to not miss a single video. Your support means a lot. When it comes to charging your electric car, you may be wondering whether you should charge it to 100% or not. While it may seem tempting to maximize your range, it's actually not recommended for the longevity of your battery. Unless if you have the LFP batteries, it's not recommended to charge to 100% on a regular basis. Lithium ion batteries can experience damage when they spend too much time in the very high or very low ends of the charging spectrum, which is why it's best to avoid charging your battery to 100% or keeping it below 10%. Tesla recommends staying above 20% if possible. By charging your electric car to around 80% every day, you can avoid the stress that comes with charging it to 100%. Plus, this habit will ensure that you always have enough range to get through your daily routine without having to worry about running out of juice. Think of it like charging your phone every night before bed so that you have a full charge to start your day. By making this part of your daily routine, you'll save time, energy, and ultimately prolong the life of your battery. So don't stress too much about squeezing every bit of range out of your electric car's battery, and instead focus on establishing a healthy charging habit that works for you and your lifestyle. As a Tesla owner, you want to make sure that you have all the accessories and upgrades to make your driving experience as convenient and enjoyable as possible. So take a good look around the car and figure out what accessories you will benefit from the most. Need a place to put your phone? A phone mount can keep your phone secure and keeps it in view while at the same time keeping your hands on the wheel. Want to keep your belongings organized? A trunk organizer can prevent them from rolling around while driving. And a center console tray can make sure that your items stay put and don't annoyingly slide all over the place while you're driving. These are just a few examples of useful accessories, but be careful not to fall in the trap of buying accessories that you don't really need. Do some research and make informed decisions on what accessories are worth the investments. Luckily for you, I've got you covered with my other videos where I go over the top accessories you have on delivery day. From floor mats, to paint protection film, to cargo covers, and to even some accessories that you did not know you needed. So take some time to do your research and invest in accessories that will benefit you the most on your driving journey. Check out the links in the description below for my recommended Tesla accessories and my other videos on the best and most essential Model Y and Model 3 accessories. Trust me, they will definitely make your driving experience that much better. If you're a new Tesla Model Y or Model 3 owner, you may have noticed that Tesla used to offer a full year of premium connectivity for free. Unfortunately, that's no longer the case, and new owners only get 30 days of free premium connectivity. But what is premium connectivity and why is it important? Well, it enhances a Tesla experience, providing access to features that require data usage. This includes streaming music and media directly from the touchscreen, live traffic visualization, and more. Premium connectivity is available as a monthly subscription of $9.99 plus tax, or as an annual subscription of $99 plus tax. And it can be purchased at any time from your vehicle touchscreen or your Tesla app. So what should you do after taking delivery of your Tesla? Well, the first thing you want to do is explore all of the premium connectivity features to see if you'll be needing it later when the free trial runs out. It's important to maximize the free trial period to see if you really need to tack on another monthly subscription later on. For me, when my trial period ended, I went ahead and renewed it to the yearly subscription because premium connectivity was something that I liked and made a lot of things more convenient for me. However, it's important to remember that everyone's needs are different and you should take time to assess your own needs. Before taking delivery of your brand new Tesla, you may be thinking what you should do with your old car. If you're planning on trading it in, it's important to do your research and shop around for the best quotes from different dealerships. Don't settle for the first quote that comes your way. Sure, websites like Carvana or Vroom can give you quick estimates, but it's also worth reaching out to local dealerships to see what they can offer for you. Take your time, weigh your options, and ensure that you're getting the best possible value for your trade-in. Remember, every little bit helps when you're purchasing a new car. The next thing to do is a time-sensitive one that many people overlook when taking delivery of their Tesla. You may want to consider installing a PPF or apply a ceramic coating. It's also crucial to protect your investment by taking care of its exterior. This is where paint protection film or a ceramic coating comes in. These options will help protect your car's paint from the harsh elements, and the PPF especially helps prevent it from being scratched or damaged. 
It's essential to get it done as soon as possible while your car's paint is still pristine and free from imperfections. If you're not confident in doing it yourself, it's best to schedule an appointment with a reputable shop to have it done professionally. While you're at it, why not consider getting your windows tinted as well? Tinting your windows not only adds to the aesthetic appeal of your vehicle, but it also helps block out harmful UV rays that can damage your car's interior. So while you're scheduling your PPF and ceramic coating, take the time to get quotes for tinting your windows as well. If you're feeling up for the challenge and want to save some serious cash, consider installing your own paint protection film and applying your own ceramic coating. There are plenty of DIY kits available on the market that are intuitive and easy to use. Not only can you save money, but you can also take pride in knowing that you did the work yourself. I've personally installed PPF on my front bumper and hood with great results. It only cost me a few hundred dollars, which is significant savings compared to the two to four thousand dollars I was quoted by professional shops. And with a ceramic coating, I saved around $1,500 by doing it myself. I even made a video demonstrating the process, which you can check out in the description below. In that video, I also discussed the benefits of ceramic coating your car, so be sure to give it a watch. Before you hit the road, it's important to take a few minutes to get familiar with some of the basic functions of your vehicle. This includes essential tasks such as adjusting the seat and mirrors to suit your driving position, figuring out how to open the doors and trunk, and understanding how to start and stop the car. These might seem like simple tasks, but getting comfortable with them will save you a lot of hassle and frustration down the road. One thing great about Teslas is that they are designed to be intuitive and user-friendly, so even if you're new to electric cars, you should have no trouble getting the hang of it. Of course, it's always a good idea to refer to the owner's manual for more detailed information, but by taking a few moments to familiarize yourself with these basic functions, you'll be on the road in no time. As a new electric vehicle owner, you may be eligible for federal tax credits, local incentives, and rebates from your utility company. These financial incentives could save you thousands of dollars. They can all help offset the cost of buying an electric vehicle. It's important to check with the appropriate agencies and file the necessary paperwork to take advantage of these benefits. You don't want to miss out on these opportunities to save money. And as of right now, the federal government is offering a $7,500 tax incentive for new electric vehicle purchases. So if you qualify for it, make sure you take advantage of this generous offer. Keep in mind that these incentives and credits can vary depending on your location and other factors. So do your research and make sure to take advantage of these opportunities available for you. One of the most significant perks of owning a Tesla is the ability to receive over-the-air software updates, ensuring your car is always up to date with the latest features and bug fixes. But to make sure your Tesla can receive these updates, you need to have a stable Wi-Fi connection. So it's essential to set up your Tesla's Wi-Fi connection and connect it to your home or work network. This way, your car can automatically download software updates and access other online features without you having to think about it. However, if you park your Tesla in your garage or outside your house, you might face connectivity issues due to a weak Wi-Fi signal. This is where Wi-Fi range boosters come in handy. These boosters extend the reach of your Wi-Fi signal and ensure that your Tesla can receive software updates and access other online features without any connectivity issues. So if you need a Wi-Fi range booster to keep your Tesla connected and up to date, I'll link some in the description below for you to check out. The touchscreen display in a Tesla is a central hub for controlling everything from the climate control to the media player. Spend some time getting to know how it works and how to use it effectively. The Tesla touchscreen display is unlike anything you've seen before, and it's a key to controlling everything in your car. From adjusting the climate control to accessing your media player, everything is just a tap away on this massive touchscreen. But as with any new technology, it can take some time to get used to. That's why it's crucial to spend some time getting to know the ins and outs of your touchscreen display. Learn how to use it effectively and you'll be able to control every aspect of your car from this one central hub. In addition to the touchscreen display, Tesla's voice commands are another fantastic way to control your car hands-free. It's almost like having your own personal assistant in the car with you. You can use voice commands to adjust the climate control, change the radio station, to a bunch of different commands. Spend some time familiarizing yourself with the most common voice commands and you'll be able to control your car without even having to take your hands off the wheel. If you're tired of having to readjust all of your car settings every time someone else drives your car, with a Tesla, that's no longer an issue. One of the coolest features of a Tesla is the ability to create driver profiles. These profiles allow you to save your seat position, mirror and steering wheel adjustments, and even your autopilot preferences. Setting up a driver profile is simple. Just click on your name at the top of the center screen and adjust the settings to your liking. Once you have everything right, you can save your profile for easy access. But what if someone else needs to drive your car? No problem, you can create multiple driver profiles so everyone can have their own settings. This means that you won't have to worry about anyone messing with your perfect setup. 
Plus, you can even add an easy entry profile that moves the seat back and the steering wheel up for easier entry and exit. When it comes to getting the most out of your Tesla ownership experience, taking advantage of any referral programs or promotions can be a great way to save some money or earn some rewards. Currently, Tesla offers a referral program for solar installations, which can earn you some sweet bonuses. Right now, you can get 9,000 credits for a solar roof or solar panel purchase. With these credits, you can redeem them for various awards in the referral shop. But if you're watching this video at a later date, it's worth checking to see if there are any new referral programs available for vehicles. Tesla is always updating the referral program, so it's worthwhile to see if you can save some money or earn some rewards with the referral link. And if there are, be sure to use my referral code to get your bonus. I'll leave it in the description below for you to easily access. So don't hesitate to take advantage of these programs whenever they're available. Learn about the various tips and tricks and some of the more advanced things once you have a good idea of the basics. These tips and tricks can help you save time and make the most of your Tesla experience. I recently made a video showing 23 hidden tips and tricks of the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3. You can check out that video in the description below. One of the standout features of any Tesla is Autopilot. Autopilot is a suite of driver assistance features that come standard with the purchase of any new Tesla. It brings new functionality to your Tesla and makes driving safer and less stressful. As a new Tesla owner, it's important to note that while Autopilot is a fantastic feature, it's not a substitute for being a responsible driver. You should always be aware of your surroundings and be ready to take control of the car if needed. That being said, Autopilot can make your Tesla driving experience more enjoyable and less stressful, and it's definitely worth checking out. So make sure to familiarize yourself with Autopilot and its features right after you take delivery of your Tesla and enjoy the ride. The final thing to do is to get in your car and just drive it. Enjoy your brand new Tesla. You have been waiting for this day for a long time now, and it's finally here. Don't be afraid to push it a little and test out its capabilities, but of course, always prioritize safety first. Take it for a spin on the highway, test out the acceleration, and feel the smoothness of the electric motors. Take your friends and family for a ride and let them experience the future of driving. And most importantly, enjoy the driving experience and the peace of mind that comes with owning a Tesla. I hope you found these tips and tricks on the things to do after ordering or delivery of your Tesla useful and informative. If you have any other suggestions or things that I may have missed, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and tick that notification bell to stay updated on all future videos. I value your feedback, so let me know what you think of this video and any other topics you'd like me to cover. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.